ready to go? Uh, yeah, I think we're back. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry about the interruption, the last part. Uh, we're back here with more ship of destruction. And now we are going to... Let's go to the shop here, like I said. See if we can get anything good here. Alright, Grandpa. Hello. Good to see you. I have some excellent cards. Okay. Uh, so how much is Mulyan Curry? Uh, 10 Domino? Oh, okay. Yeah, we can buy that, so. So our Domino is up there. 1583, so. Uh, oh, wow. Man, this Uguchi is how much? Wow, that's crazy. Um, how much is Pot of Greed? 6,000? Oof. That's high. We probably want that at some point, though. Um, does he have any, uh, trap cards like I was thinking of? Um, let's see if I see any trap cards. Hmm. No, it doesn't look like it. Not at this point of the game. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, this costs 600 domino. Honestly, that might be worth it at this point in the game. Exile the Wicked. Hmm, also this one's pretty cheap too. Uh, it's just a Dreams monster that's, yeah, basically 000, zero, zero but it's uh, pretty cheap. Whoa, oh, but it costs 400 domino? Hmm, I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. Um, wait, what's your, uh, I don't have to actually buy this, do I? What's your details? Uh, conceals herself in the clamshell. She can weaken a foe monster and immobilize it. Oh, it's a, no wonder it costs so much. It actually has an effect. Oh, wow. Shadow's in this game? I mean, I doubt well over some of this, but Merciful King of the Heavens, where the fairies live, shows no mercy to those that consider to be its en enemies. Holy crap. So this thing costs, uh, 6,720 domino. Wow. Oh, and there's Cybosaurus. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And this cost 1640. Okay. Um. Do you have an effect? No. Okay. Okay. Well, I think that's the best we can do at this point. Um. Let me see. And remember what I was saying about deck capacity last time. Like, um. I don't know if this will work or not, but uh, let's try to take out, like, uh, for example, if I take out Doma, can I put in, uh, basically I'm trying to see if we can work Cannon Soldier in here. Uh, I take out Doma and I take out, I'm just, I'm just spitballing here, and we take out Tomazaurus. Can we then put in Cannon Soldier and, uh, like, Leon Curry? Maybe. We'll try it. Uh, attack. So we'll try Cannon Soldier. Oh no, we still can't. Okay, okay. Well, that answers that question. Uh, but at some point, having like low cost cards like that will be useful. So, um, and I forgot what card I took out besides Doma. So I guess let's just put in. Uh, like Flame Natural? Oh no, I took out Tomasaurus, that's right. Okay. Alright, well I guess while we're here, let's see if we can duel like Taya or some other people. So, Taya, you duel? Duel against me? If you have that kind of time, go help Ashizu. Oh, 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 oh. And she, she told us. She gave us the business. Uh, what about you, uh, Duke Devlin? I don't really consider myself a duelist, but I can duel better than I lose a Tristan. Oh, 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 get on Tristan. Okay, and we might actually lose this duel. I don't know how good Duke is, but uh, Rebecca was pretty good, honestly. Um, mm, mm, 700 is doable. Um, first turn, let's just set this. And uh, let's play Beckon. Yeah. Okay. Alright, Duke. Structure. Oh, nice, nice card. Phantom the one. Okay, we can handle that. If we get some of our better monsters like Morphin Jar. Um, light. 
Well, he's shadow. Doesn't shadow be light? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Pretty sure he's got the type of advantage there, so. Okay. Hmm. What beats shadow? I don't know. Mio Toko. Wait, what type is that? Is that like dreams? Uh, it's a fiend. Okay. Ooh, man, this hand is rough. Well, I guess we'll Sparks, and then we'll Final Destiny. We kind of have to here, so. All right. Well, you might have us here, Duke. But if we fail, we'll we'll try again a couple times, just like with the Rebecca episode. 700. Yeah, I mean, like, honestly, this is doable if we just draw some of our normally good cards. Get in. Not bad. It's probably one of our best top decks ever. Ah, no fiends, huh? Good. And this has, what, 700? Hmm, 500. Wait, don't fiends beat dreams? Well, let's try this, shall we? Boys and girls. Fiend beat dreams? Let's go. Hey, I did it. I didn't switch again into attack mode. What's this? Starboy? Hm. Well, we can at least see what his face down is. I mean, I doubt we can beat it, but yeah. Now we know what we're working with there. I'd rather know than not know. Okay. Well, so far he's not drawing any fiends, so that's good. Okay. Okay. Let's... These top decks aren't too bad, honestly. Okay. He does ever get something that's super effective, eat a bagoon should trigger and take it out, right? You know, time a soul. Okay, I'll crash. Yeah, because this has 600. Oh no, it has 650. Oh dude, I misremembered my stats. <laughs> that, that one's on me right there. That was bad. That was just bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, I remember this time, so 600. Okay, let's take a shot in the dark here. Ah, oh, it was Phantom Dwan. Okay. All right, buddy. Well, you're gonna trigger my Edebagoon now. Yeah, see ya, Buku. All right. All I need now is like a tribute monster. We've been sitting on Ginnon for like four or five turns, so. Uh, Fury Seeking, pretty solid monster, pretty solid monster. Yeah, we can actually start taking out some of his stuff. So we basically, we top deck pretty good here. We got two of our like best cards, so. Aw, mm. oh, man, you know. Uh, that's to be expected, you know. He has had like a lot of turns to regrow his hand, so. Uh, this is a Shadow. Hmm. I think I'll just use the effect, honestly. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Apparently, whenever you use the effect, you also switch to attack mode, too. Uh, okay. Still no fiends. All right. We've got a chance. Ah, morphing jar, huh? Okay. Let's destroy this. Yeah. Okay. defense mode. Love it. Okay. All right. We'll take a shot in the dark here with the uh, Curtain of the Dark ones. Ah, I get it. Shot in the dark. Curtain of the Dark. Aww, bro. At least I did find a monster that, you know, is pretty solid. Let's take it out. Man, that was unlucky. <laughs> All right, Duke. Yeah. Switch everything to defense, buddy. All right. Weather control, light. Okay. Hmm. Let's aim right here. Fire grass. Okay. Uh, let's take out uh, this. There we go. All right. Uh -huh. That's to be expected. Now you're serving Marauders in attack mode, buddy. All right, we're slowly getting there. We're slowly getting there. La La Leon, you're up. Ooh, don't you beat uh, water? Yeah, you do. 
nice. Alright. There we go. I finally took out two monsters that turn. Alright, Duke. Yeah, Duke's honestly not doing too bad here. Okay. Uh, ooh, Lightning Conjure is good. Face down? Yeah. See a Wicked Mirror. Alright, I'm gonna end my turn. We're gonna take a little drink break here. So hang out. Defense is coming in clutch, buddy. Ooh, do I go for it? Well, fiends do be dreams, so. Hmm. Maybe at this point I should. I got two good defensive monsters, so. Okay. Yeah, and fiends beat dreams. So I know I can do a lot of damage here. Heck yeah. There we go. I hope he lasts on the field quite a while, Tal War. But, um, we'll see. This rule has been nuts, man. Good, good. Alright. What we draw now? Flame Nature, we'll take it. Attack this. Yep. Yeah. Only 50 damage. Well, there we go. And Tal War. Attack this. Wicked Mirror. Mm hmm. Alright. Well, that final destiny looks like it's paid off so far. Wings of Wicked Flame, huh? Alright. Did we get an Aqua? Mm -hmm. This is our probably second best monster, so let's just do the damage. Uh, yeah. Alright. We'll attack with Morphin Jar. A lot of his cards have 700 defense, so. Mm -hmm. Alright, Phantom Thief. Wow. This has been a comeback for the ages. Honestly, I thought we were gonna lose this one. Well, I mean, who knows what's gonna happen. Hourglass of Life. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> good thing we had Tau War. Uh, and good thing we had the tributes for Tau War. Otherwise, uh, now that is a light. Uh, do lights beat fiends? I hope not. No! Oh, dude. I did not know that. Oh my god. Okay, so we need a shadow to beat this light monster. Alright. We'll just defend. Alright. I will keep Morphing Jar in attack mode, though. It does have 800, so. Versus 700. Man, that sucks. Ugh. Light beats, uh, Fiend, huh? Alright. Dang, he got so lucky there. So I need a shadow, yeah. Oh, man, Duke. That might be the end of the duel, honestly. I don't know. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of his. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. I think I discarded Beck in the Darkness, too, out of that opening hand. Mm. Man, that sucks. We're, we're so close, I feel like. In that one, but yeah. Well, hmm. I can keep him off this monster at least. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, we're gonna take some direct damage here though, so. And what's even worse is like I attacked into it, so basically, I gave him a free. You know, he would have had to attack into me in order to do the do it the other way, so. Uh, force is good against wind. I think fire is good against force. Yeah, fire, fire, so. Man. That was a close one, though, dude. That was a close one, bro. You gotta give it to him. That was an entertaining duel, for sure. That looks like it's over now. Morphing Jar? Yeah. Hmm. Fiend. Okay. Any dreams? Nope. Alright, Duke. You win this one. Man. I guess he did take a card from us there. Um, do I want to reset? No, not really. But uh, 
we'll make a state here. Right here. There we go. Okay. If we lose against them again, you know, then I'll, I'll load state 10. <laughs> or I'll reset the game, you know. Yep. All right, Duke, you're on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's go with Tomasaurus. Mmm, yeah, you played that last time, too. That's going to hurt a little more with the full hand. All right. Uh, looks like we drew a little better, though. We got a sh our shadow, which is good. Uh, let's go with this. Uh, yeah, yeah. He likes the 700 monsters, so... Okay. Interesting, he chose to crash there. Oh, okay, that makes sense, yeah. He's got another be bewitching. Kind of smart, though. He ke uh, he actually kept this off of tributes there. Uh, Fiend's Beat. Oh, I didn't even know I had this card. Cyber Commander? That's uh, pretty good. Don't Fiend's Beat Dreams as well? Hmm. Man, yeah, where was this card the last, uh, all the other episodes? 750? Oh. Huh. That ain't bad at all. 800. Okay, okay. This is more what I like to see. Uh-huh. Sea of Fire Grass. Hmm. Stool's looking a little better, Duke Devlin. What are you gonna do now? Uh-huh. Yeah. We got the Cyber Commander, Tristan's favorite. Alright, this stool's looking up. Let's go with... Hmm. We'll go with Bewitching. So we got a dream, a fiend, and earth. Got some good variety over here. Okay. All right. But uh, hopefully you guys kind of see what I meant in the first couple episodes. I was like, this might want to be one of the more difficult Yu-Gi-Oh games. Like, so far, <laughs> in order to be, you know, main character people, you know, like Duke and, uh, Rebecca, etc., it's taken us at least two attempts, and I know this duel's not over, but, you know, yeah, that's, um, <laughs> that's not a good sign. Oh, he finally got a fiend, okay. <laughs> but, yeah, that is, uh, it's a pretty troubling sign, if I do say so myself. Um... Tribute this for the Ogun. Mm -hmm. See you, Mio Toko. Leo again. Nice. Alright, down to 900, Duke. What are you gonna do now, buddy? Heavy. What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, bro. Every monster spell and trap card on the field are destroyed. This guy. This guy right here. Well, at least he didn't use the effect of this thing. Um, so it is a light, so I can beat it with a shadow. Oh my god, this guy. This guy. Shh, you gotta be kidding me, bro. He has heavy storm. Duke Devlin has heavy storm in this game. Wow. The, I don't even know what to say, man. That is insane. Good, good. We got the other one out, too. Why didn't he use the effect? I guess maybe it wouldn't have mattered, you could say, but... Honestly, bro, you should have used the effect right there. I, I don't know what you're thinking right there. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Okay, the pyro. But it's over, Duke. Wanna know why? I tribute my Phantom Damar to summon Doma, the Angel of Silence. And now, your monster will be silenced forever. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. See, that's about normal. Your deck capacity only increased by one. Uh, what do we get? Ooh, that's actually not a bad monster, Duke. Thunder Kid, a young monster that keeps lightning charged in his body. It can turn dangerous if, it, if anyone wanted to make it cry. Dual Monsters is a pretty deep game, isn't it? Huh, yeah. Well, I'm definitely going to go back and heal my life points. And we're also going to fix the deck there. Because, uh, 
that, that was like our first good card we've gotten. So, uh, let's not save yet. Let's uh, mess with the deck. So, go to deck, go to attack points. Let's go all the way down. Um, we could place, replace another kid with this. Yeah, 750, 700. Mm, no, let's replace one of the spiders, honestly. So let's replace that. Trunk. Uh, same thing. Sort by attack. There we go. It should be in the 700s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Cyber Commanders are like our second best uh, normal monster, so that's cool. But we will take a Kaminari Kozo. That's good. That's very good. Thanks, Duke. Okay. Well, we're going to save here as usual. Now that we've healed our life points. And I think that's going to be the end for this one, guys. Because um, I'm not sh sure... Both duels went, him, uh, went against him like pretty long, so I'm not sure where we're at on time. But uh, yeah, we're going to end it here. And I guess uh, next time we're going to be dueling Tristan two or three times in order to see if we can beat him. All right. See you guys all next time. Bye-bye.